but uh, the Blues got the job done against the Tigers yesterday. And this man's carving out a great career. Notched up game number 50 yesterday and has become a very important player. I speak of Zach Tui. Welcome, Zach. Congratulations and well done on the win. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for having me on. Uh, uh, Zach, the Irishmen aren't supposed to kick our ball too well. What's your secret? I mean, you become the designated man for roosting him from outside 60. Nah, look, I can, I can promise you um, all I do is, is swing out as hard as I can and, and hope for the best, so I've just been very lucky this year. And I remember interviewing you back in November 2009. It was about a day after you arrived. You had a ponytail and uh, there was another little guy from Papua New Guinea, Peter Larby, there. And That's it just right, seemed yeah. like you were both at that time sort of long shots. What's happened to Peter Larby to start with? And, and do you still pinch yourself at how well you've gone? Um, yeah, Larby ended up uh, heading back up to Queensland after about uh, two years to, to go back and play with his, uh, the team he kind of had been playing with for a few years. And um, yeah, that seems like a long time ago now. I was rocking a pretty average haircut back then but um <laughs> yeah. I've, uh, no i've just i've always i've always enjoyed playing um even kind of before i was playing seniors and uh you know when when you like what you do it's it's not really work so um i've been very lucky what about uh, all the meetings that players have these days as uh, the boys just said you've picked up the uh, the skills of the game and are doing very well in terms of that but when you sit in the meetings and mix telling you you know, the rotations through the midfield and all that type of stuff. Does a lot of it go in one area and out the other, or do you pick that up uh, fairly easily as well? No, that, was, well, that probably was the, the toughest part for me um, when I was trying to learn the game, was, was getting all the, the structures and all that kind of thing, um, you know, trying to learn all them. But, um, look, nowadays it's just part of the job, and love it or hate it, you just have to uh, put up with all the meetings we have and um, try and, you know, give yourself the best opportunity to win. Being a good Irish boy, I, I dare say you sit at the back of the uh, the back of the meetings and you, you don't take too much of it in at all, mate. You just uh, you see the ball and you go and get it. Yeah, well, I like to keep it as simple as I can because uh, there's not a whole lot going on upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, nice and nice and basic. Don't worry, there's plenty of blokes that used to do that. Don't worry. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> hey, uh, Zach, what about Mickey Mouldhouse? Of course, you had Brett Ratton up until last year. So how's he been in, as far as developing your own game this year? Yeah, look, he's been good for me. He's given me a lot of confidence. Um, I've been given some pretty uh, testing kind of roles this year. And, um, you know, just being given those kind of roles, I think, helps, you know, players' players' confidence and um Look, it's been really good. It's been a tough year. There's no secret. We're not exactly where we want to be, but um, it's very hard for a coach to come in and, and change everything in the first year. So um, we think we're heading in the right direction and uh, just need to be a little bit more consistent. Now, we've got an international rules tour coming up, Australian Indigenous side going over to Ireland. Uh, are you going to put your hand up to play for the Irish? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I'll uh, hopefully, hopefully be called up and uh, it'd, be, it'd be very exciting to play against some of those guys again. Hey, um, Zach, you just said before that uh, obviously under Mick you, you're not where you'd expect it to be. Before the season started, where, where, do you, where did you realistically think that the Blues may be? Oh, it's not, it's not that we're not where we expect it to be. It's that we're not where we want to be. Um, look, obviously we, uh, we want to play finals because every team wants to play finals and we feel we're good enough to play finals. And uh, the players have probably let ourselves down at times this year and... Um, Look, we, we still, uh, we're still uh, in with a chance of playing finals and um, we're certainly not holding up any white flag just yet. So, look, we're focusing on uh, a big game this week against Essendon and uh, finish the year against Port Adelaide, which could uh, decide our fate. So, um, look, we want to play finals and, and that's kind of the bottom line. Zach's been a, obviously a tough month. Uh, footy's tough anyway, but five goals down at quarter time yesterday against a Richmond side that has just been uh, taking all before them in the last month. So... Massive turnaround in that second term and ensuing the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, shaping up to be a long day um, early on. But um, look to the to the boys' credit, they uh, we didn't kind of drop our heads and, and um, look, we always kind of knew we feel going into most game, every game, in fact, that we can win. Um, and having let ourselves down, you know, previously this year, uh, it's a massive opportunity for us to kind of send a message and say that you know we're not going to be, we're not just going to you know, give up when, when things go against us. So it was uh, credit to the boys. It was, a, it was a really big win for us. A lot of the Irish boys get homesick. Um, if, if you had your own challenges, and can you see yourself staying here for 10 years and even maybe staying in Melbourne once your footy's finished? <laughs> yeah, I, I've been pretty lucky. I never really got uh, too homesick. Like I said, I've, I've always enjoyed playing. And uh, even when I, when I wasn't exactly playing too well early on, and, um, 
Yeah, no, I could definitely see myself staying here. I love Melbourne. I love Carlton, and um, yeah, I could be. I could be here for good. I reckon. Hey, um, Zach, did you feel going into the game that you were a real strong show against Richmond? They've shown a tendency over the course of this year against good teams. They play well, but against teams that perhaps are lower than lower than them on the ladder, that there's an opportunity, and you seem to jump on that at quarter time, and then the rest of the game it was smooth sailing. Um, oh, look, like I said, we we feel our chance going into any game when we play well. We play really well. Um, it's just the difference between our good and bad has been too big this year. But, um, yeah, look, look, they're a very good side and they've beaten a lot of the top sides, as you said. So it was a massive challenge. And uh, to, to respond like we did, particularly after quarter time, was uh, very encouraging for us. So, um, yeah, I think uh, we're <laughs> very lucky to have uh, come away quite as strongly as we did. Well, uh, 50 games underneath the belt now and a big win yesterday, a big game next week against the Bombers. We wish you well. Thanks for your time. No worries. Thanks, guys.